I thought perhaps we would do a tip that had to do with symbols. And this is Microsoft Word 2016. Symbols are there when you want to insert something into your document, like a registered trade, a registered symbol or a copyright symbol or a trademark symbol or a special icon of some kind, a special graphic. And so let me just kind of give you an idea of how this works. I'm sitting up here in uh, behind my virtual campus. I click my mouse right, right in there. And I'm going to go to my insert tab or ribbon. And out at the end of the ribbon is a group called symbols. I'm going to click up here on the symbol. You're going to see the most commonly used symbols show up. But I want to dig a little deeper. And I want to go down to the more symbols. Now when you go down to more symbols, there is a font and it may default to something other than what my computer has defaulted to, which is Webdings. But you can see with the Webdings, there's several, like a parking symbol, a handicap sim symbol, just some different things in here that you've seen on signs and signage. I want to jump back for a moment and I want to change the font to be the symbol font. Now when I do that, I, that is where I have the registered, the copyright, and the trademark symbols. So if I want to take the registered symbol and I come down I, and I click on it and I hit insert, it will insert, close this, back at the place where my cursor was. So you can see my virtual campus with the R symbol. So it's, it's as simple as that. Now, I know this really doesn't apply per se, but beside the word LinkedIn. Again, go up to symbol, come down to more symbols, and uh, it remembers the symbol group. I can scroll down in the symbol group. I can find the trademark symbol and insert it, close, and it puts a little trademark in there as well. So putting symbols in is pretty easy and sometimes depending on the symbol they will be superscript or subscript. Now I'm going to go over, well actually I'm going to go down to the bottom of this document by hitting control and takes me to the bottom and um, we're going to we're going to throw a symbol in here that is just a little bit more fun so we'll come down to more symbols and some of the more fun symbols can be found in the Webdings. Now I'm going to scroll down. You'll, you will see Webdings and you'll see different Wingdings. Okay, actually, let's go to Wingdings. And you have here scissors and pencils and books and telephones and so on and so forth. I'm going to throw a pair of scissors in and insert. And you're probably wondering what in the world is she doing? Okay, so there's my scissors. And then I can do a series of dots, cut along the dotted line. Where have we seen this? You got it. Teachers use this uh, cut on the dotted line, maybe to cut off a, a sign, a registration form, or some kind of parental parental form. Now, if you put a symbol in and you think that it's a little bit too small, it can be changed by changing the font size. So, if I go up to the home tab and and hit the big A or the little A, big big big, see how that can make that symbol bigger where you can make it smaller. And that's just adjusting the font. So a symbol is like a character, the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, that can be made bigger or smaller. Anyway, there are a ton of fonts under those symbols, more symbols. We just saw, and, and, they, and they go on and on. Okay, or there's wingdings two, wingdings three, and then we also have webdings. So have fun, make some signs, uh, make some forms, practice with those, even the most basic symbols. Hope you have fun with that.